That is the noisiest air conditioner of all air conditioners and I had to shut it off in order to shoot this video. So today, 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 I'm going to show you around my tattoo station. Somebody commented in the comments the other day, hey, you should do a tattoo station tour. And I thought it was a really good idea. I cannot find that person's comment. So if you were that person that commented that, this video is for you. So I'm gonna give you a tour of my station and then my storage area and then my other storage area that's in there. Let's not waste any more time. So I guess we'll go from top to bottom. Starting up top, we got a TV and some decorations. Wow, that was a very loud motorcycle. Then moving down here to this pegboard that I got going on, I got all these little baskets off of Amazon. I'm gonna try to find all of my different things to organize my station. On Amazon, I'll try to list them because I know everybody's gonna ask me. So these little pegboard shelves, they go right into the pegboard. This first one, I got my black ink. We got some stencil stuff, all types of little liquids and whatnot, Vaseline. Next one over, we got razor blades and ink cups. Next one over, these are the gloves that I tattoo with. They're the latex phantom ones. I really like these. And then the gloves down here are the ones that I use to clean with and everything else. Next shelf down, we got all my different bags. We got machine bags, clip cord covers, and the plastic things that go over your arm, the arm sleeves. Over here, this took me a while to organize and it's all unorganized again. But these things are nail polish holders, I believe. Um, and then I have these two brackets going into the pegboard to have that there. But these are all my colors. I mostly use Eternal and Fusion colors. These are my scissors. This is a painting of my son that my mom did. She's a lot better of an artist than I am. Moving on, drawer number one. We got some markers, little tiny ink caps, which I rarely use, tape, tongue depressors, some batteries that I also never use. I actually just clean this out so it's not incredibly filled up. Got one of these little eye loop. Let's see, can we see things up close? Mm, focus, ah, yes. So this is used to just make sure that your needles don't have any barbs or anything on them. Real cheap, I recommend picking one of these up to check on your needles before you use them on your clients. Next drawer over, I'm actually not too sure what's in this one, I never go in here. So we've got the Roku remote, air conditioner remote. This is a very old iPod touch or whatever, how impressive. Stickers, a headlamp in case the power goes out. Butterfly knife. Couple different boxes of machines that I have. Some spare RCA cords, stickers. Moving over here, we have the Critical Atom X power supply. Then over here, we have the Critical Universal batteries charging. And then back here, I have my speaker for music. Now going to the lower level. We got all different cleaning stuff, paper towels, garbage bags. And then I have these really, really crappy old plastic shelves, but they haven't broken yet, so I have no reason to replace them yet. I keep my machines in here and some needles, but most needles I have in my cabinet, which I'll show you in a minute. I think I'll just pull this whole drawer out. So this first drawer, I honestly, I don't think I've used any of these machines in a while. There is the Axis Direct Drive. This is the Bishop Magi. This is my very first rotary. It's the Diablo Swiss, I believe. This thing is a piece of junk. It broke right in the middle of me tattooing. I don't recommend this machine. I don't even know if they make it anymore. And then this is the Hard Life Omni version two. I'm pretty sure Hard Life has gone out of business. Somebody commented before, but I used this machine for a while. It was pretty good. We got some grips, rubber bands, and some nipples. Moving on to the next drawer. All right, so these machines are the ones that I usually use. Uh, this one, as of right now, is my absolute favorite. It is the Vlad Blad Avenger 2 Pro and it is a beast of a machine. I've done a review on this one very recently. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Great machine. This is, what is this? The Dragonhawk Lancer, maybe, or something like that, Saber. I don't really remember the name of it, but it's all right. This is the Axis Fahala. This is the Bishop Wand Liner. If I'm only outlining, I'm using this. If I'm outlining and doing other things also, I'll use the Vlad Blad just because it's very versatile, but, this machine is awesome. And then this is the Axis Valker, I believe it's called. But yeah, those are my machines. Uh, I use machines and then after I get tired of them, I usually sell them or trade them. So that's the ones that I have right now. And then over here, we've got the suggestions bin because that's exactly where you can put them and a severed head. Then over here, I've got all my tattoo furniture. We have just a straight bed, 
a chair. This goes down so you can kind of dangle your legs if you wanted to. Nobody ever does that. And then my armrest. So yeah, I customized all three of those. I made a video a long time ago when I customized that, when I first started doing YouTube videos. But yeah, those are cool. And then this is my really cool light. It has movable capabilities. I bought that after my ring light died. Oh, and I can't forget, this is my Darth Vader chair. All right, so moving this way. So the first thing, I just got this the other day. It's this mount that I can put my camera on or a light on uh, while I'm tattooing and I don't have to worry about kicking my tripod. It's pretty awesome. So once again, we'll start from the top. That right there is a jug of pee. I'm joking, it's not a jug of pee. All right, we got this sweet cabinet I got from Lowe's. We'll start from the top. Again, we got a bunch of different cartridges. So right now, these are needle jig. These are big sleeps. These are T-Tech, needle jig, Black Claw, Good Guy Tattoo Supply, Black Claw, Good Guy Tattoo Supply, Bishop, needle jig, T-Tech, T-Tech, Black Claw, Good Guy Tattoo Supply. So those are the ones that I have right now. These are all the different grippy tapes for my grips. Moving down to the next shelf, we have some alcohol distilled water bunch of ink caps, some extra black ink. Got a bunch of disposable grips here. I was testing them out. I was gonna make a video about all different disposable grips, but we got Kingpin, Tat Soul, some more Tat Soul, Bishop, and Precision. So far, my favorite are these, the Tat Soul Wrath Grips. I like those, highly recommend it. Moving down to the next shelf, we got gloves, razor blades, some dental bibs and paper towels, and the very bottom shelf, we got green soap and some different cleaners. Now. It's time to go to the other storage room on the other side of that black curtain. Onto the kitchen. So moving on to the storage area. We have a ridiculous amount of paper towels that I'll go through probably within the next month. And no, I did not stock up because of COVID. I always have this many paper towels. Now we go into the storage. All right, we have a ridiculous amount. This is all back here. That's all razor blades, more razor blades. I don't know what's in here. Bunch of alcohol. Disposable grips, tongue depressors, petroleum jelly, some extra spray bottles. What are these? Oh, long clip cords. I didn't like these, they were too skinny. And then down here, we got just a bunch of boxes, spare power supply. Yeah, cool, some good stuff. And also this is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and also a water that I brought with me today. I never drink coffee nor microwave anything. And just in case, I start to smell funky. I have some women's deodorant to keep me fresh. And if I'm feeling extra feminine, tissues to cry with. I'm just kidding guys, it's okay for men to cry too. You don't have to just be feminine. And then last but not least, we got also, once again, a ridiculous amount of cleaning supplies and then some bed covers. Mm -hmm. 